This is Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell on the Forge Audio Network. Welcome to this episode of Forge Daily. I am your host, Mackenzie Barwell, checking in now September 9th, 2024. This past weekend, Forge FC securing a crucial 2-1 victory over Cavalry to extend their lead in the standings over a second place Atletico Ottawa by five points now. In today's episode, I'll go over everything that happened on Saturday, the implications this result will have on the regular season title race, and what achievement Tristan Bourne just reached after scoring his brace. So let's get right into it. Looking at the starting 11 for Forge FC, a couple players worth noting, including Jasim Khalilad, who returned to net, Noah Jensen earning his role in the center midfield following his two-goal performance against Pacific, and then Benny Batabanga in the number nine spot. This is a little unusual considering the important role that he plays normally on the wing. Coach Bobby and Borges talked about what Benny can provide when he's in a more central position like that one. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when, with Benny, if he, if he finds the spaces in the, in the pockets in between places, he can be creative, spin, and he did a great job of, of moving the ball. I think, you know, in certain moments, he could probably could have done a better job, and that's something we've already uh, discussed uh, as we're coming off uh, off the pitch, and uh, she says an engine. You know, he's he's a guy that's uh, that's needed in a, in a game like this. Cavalry, uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, like to play the ball around uh, their back players quite a bit uh, to slow the pace down before they can try and get their overloads. And uh, I think, uh, you know, we took that away uh, with our shape and uh, a little bit the way we were a little bit higher up on the field um, uh, with them and threw them off of uh, off of their game and that also limited uh, their opportunities. Yeah, uh, yeah, Benny. Uh, I think everyone can see the quality that he has, how comfortable he is on the on on the ball. Not afraid to take anybody on. Not afraid to try things. And and I think one thing I would say a lot of people don't really realize with him because you know maybe everybody kind of sees the one v ones or, or or the skills. I think his vision is is a little bit underrated. And him seeing the field, seeing where players are, uh, you know, trying to make the right touch, the right pass. Maybe it's taking one on one, but. I think, uh, like I said before, that connection that I think me and Benny have have, have created is is something special, and and we we're we're kind of on the same page, and it's 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 all about winning and having success together, right? And I think that's obviously the best way to reach our end goal, and 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 he's been great since he's been here, and and I hope uh, we just continue to stay healthy, obviously, because that's the most important thing for the rest of the year, and and yeah, we keep going. Yeah. Well, the coaching staff's attacking setup definitely paid off as Benny's positioning and flair was key to opening up the scoring for Forge FC. In the seventh minute, he lays off a cheeky back heel to Tristan Borges, who calmly slots at home from outside the 18-yard box. That would be Borges' seventh on the season and 33rd across all competitions with Forge FC, making him the club's all-time leading goal scorer. Spoiler alert, that wasn't the last we would see from him in this game. If you know Borges at all, you know that he's the one to prioritize the team's accomplishments over his individual success. But he and Coach Bobby did speak on this achievement post game. Yeah, as long as he keeps on scoring, we're good. You know that's uh, the most important thing. There's always going to be a top goal scorer at a club. If today it's him, and we hope maybe it's him for a long term if he's here. But at some point it'll be somebody else. And um, so for 2024, let's keep Borges up on the ball in the net, and uh, we can keep him up there. That's not a problem. Uh, it's something special, uh, especially just knowing um, how much the club has achieved so far. Uh, very, very proud to be a part of a lot of that success. Um, uh, people that know me from day one, it, it's it's always been about winning. Uh, and if I can contribute to that, whether it's goals, assists, or even honestly just playing as best as I can, um, that's that for me is is, is the most important thing. Um, uh, just how I am, as happy as I am to obviously be, you know, have accomplished that, I'm still looking at myself and, and kind of disappointed about the PK that I gave up. And, that, and that's just... Kind of how I am. I I know I'm taking away a clean sheet from uh, from my goalie, especially the performance that we put in. I, I think I think we deserved a clean sheet. Um, and um, but obviously it's something special, you know, that uh, of what I've accomplished. And uh, I like to look at these things at the end of the year once I have some time to kind of wind wind out and and relax and spend some time with my family and and be very grateful for it. Toward the end of the first half, Cavalry saw what was arguably their best chance of the game. Frazier aired to volley a shot right near the six-yard box, but Jas Kalilat right there to make an outstanding reflex save to keep Forge ahead. Fast forward, though, to later on in the match, Noah Jensen delivers a cross from outside the 18, and it catches the hand of Camden, forcing the ref to call a penalty. 
it would be Tristan Borges to step up and finish his second of the game, doubling the lead for Ford. However, as he said in that press conference, right after he finishes this pen, he concedes one. So Cavalry's Frazier Aird steps up and his shot is deflected off of Jass, but CPL's Player of the Month for the month of August, Dan Klomp, is right there to finish it for Cavalry. That would be the third and final goal of this match. Surprise, surprise, another Forge Cavalry battle ending with a marginal goal differential. Here's more from Coach Bobby post-game on what the expectation was from the team and why that score could have potentially been different. Yeah, I'm never surprised with my team. It's an expectation that we have and, and what they do. And uh, to be honest, goal comes from exactly what we wanted uh, to be done with uh, placing those uh, players uh, on the pitch in those certain zones. Um, with Borges being a little bit more inverted, uh, Benny being able to be creative a little bit more higher up on the, on the pitch and you know, playing between the lines. Um, and like I said, uh, the way they were set up allowed us uh, to do that. Um, although it did you know, take away certain things of ours and, and build up the way they were, they were set up. It opened up a lot more things uh, as we moved forward. So yeah, I'm not, uh, not surprised. Like I said, uh, a little bit, a little bit disappointed that maybe uh, we don't have a few more goals uh, in the, in the first half and in the second. This result gives Forge 10 total wins at home, making them 11 points clear of the second best home record in the Canadian Premier League, a stark contrast to what we saw last season. It's only been Vancouver FC and Chivas back in CONCACAF to get the better of Forge at Tim Hortons Field. And for Tristan Borges, it's been all about execution. Yeah, um, kind of what I was uh, I was saying before was that I think the biggest thing so far that I at least see with the group this year is we've been executing uh, at pretty much a high level, right? And, and, and uh, you know, both offensively and defensively, we've been putting in a shift every single game, uh, not really looking at excuses, understanding there's going to be ups and downs. And I think every single year we always kind of hit our peak. And I, I think for this year we've been kind of staying at that at, at, at that point, right? So uh, for us, it's, you know, at the beginning of the year, we set ourselves uh, high goals and, you know, we this club already has been playing at big games. And, and for us, it's all about championships. And we understand that uh, one way to, you know, reach a goal that we want also for next year for the club, which which is Champions League, is finishing first, right? I think that's, that's important. But... You know, we really don't think too far ahead. We kind of just go game by game, and, and we understand that if we continue playing at the level that we know we can, you know, a uh, three points should be uh, a must every single weekend. Forge FC now three points closer to that Canadian Premier League shield after their fourth and final meeting to Cavalry FC in the 2024 season. Coach Bobby and the team have made it very clear that these next couple weeks are considered playoff football. Their focus will now lie to this weekend, where they'll take on an eighth-place Halifax at the Wanderers' grounds. Coach Bobby made it very clear in the press conference that the team does not plan to look any further than the week ahead, as that's where their success lies. Yeah, to your first two points, I have no clue what it takes to make the playoffs, and I'm quite literally not interested in how we are one step closer to anything, um, because this league uh, sends you on a roller coaster. Um, that's for sure. So that thought is in uh, is in nobody's mind. Um, it's what you have to do today, because that'll dictate uh, you know where you're going tomorrow. And today we've gotten three points, and that allows you to breathe a little bit. That allows me to go to sleep uh, with a little bit more of a clear mind, uh, and and plan for the next game. Because every game doesn't matter where you are in this in this league. Uh, you're at the top. You're at the bottom. Everybody has a chance of beating anybody on any day. I think uh, sometimes that's uh, that's the beauty of the league. We expect that we go into games to win, uh, but if you don't go in with a mindset of full respect for this sport and the, and the game, it's a challenge. So we try and stay away from thinking uh, like that. And you know, all we say is, uh, you know, each and every week we've put ourselves. I think it's now two weeks, three weeks at the top. It's about trying to stay there, and uh, you stay there by having more points at the end of the weekend uh, than the opponent. And that's the best thing you can control in, in a game and uh, and not think uh, too far ahead. And, uh, you know, that's we try and relay that to the staff, or I try and relay that to the staff. That trickles down to the players, and that way we can focus day by day. That'll conclude today's episode of Forge's upcoming match against the Halifax Wanderers. It will be a big topic of conversation this week. So stay tuned for another edition of Behind the Beard and Max Access. Thank you so much for listening today, and I'll be back to check in on the audio network soon. This has been Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share.